Who are you? Um, Shunya, Alan Keary. Um, Irish, kind of. No, fully Irish, but live, live in Manchester and like Manchester very much. And I write and produce music under Shunya. Beauty Being the Void, that's yeah, that's from the very first EP. And um, that was actually one of the first Shunya tunes I wrote. But um, when I first moved to Manchester, I was going to all the drum and, ba drum and bass raves and stuff, and like Jungle and stuff. And I really, really loved that music, especially Jungle. Um, and I wanted to get away with writing a really kind of ethereal, nice, pretty piece, but having some form of kind of breakbeat kind of stuff going underneath it. So I got, um, it was actually recorded in this room. Uh, I got Rob Turner from Gogo -Go Penguin and uh, Craig Hansen um, from Skelter and uh, they did a, a live double drumming thing. I do everything from at home um, and write, produce all the stuff and then we, I go in and flesh it out with the guys. I could do everything totally electronic but uh, the, way, the way I always look at it, like I want my granny to be able to enjoy the show and I think if my granny saw live drums and someone actually enjoying themselves on stage, she just saw some guy with Ableton and a laptop with his head down going uh, 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 my granny wouldn't get that. So it needs to be accessible to the grannies. I quite like the percussion because it kind of, in a way, kind of reminds me of my Irish culture a little bit. It's not exactly Irish trad, but there are elements that kind of peep through. So when you have like these kind of a exotic percussion instruments, you kind of, I don't know, kind of references that. The beauty about this project is like it's, it is a, it's open in that sense of collaboration and it's, uh, you know, it's not very kind of honed into one, like, mood, do you know what I mean? If I wanted to go a bit dirtier, then I'd like it to go there. It doesn't always have to be ethereal and nice. Sometimes we go out as a four-piece uh, without uh, jack and percussion, but then we, the more we started playing with percussion, um, and because I, I I really like dense percussive parts, especially in the productions. Um, all of us agree, we're like, oh, we just can't do it without Jack now. So it's, it's just kind of evolved into this five piece.
I try not to be governed by the machine because it's still electron a live electronic thing at the end of the day. I'm still producing, still recreating the productions that I did in my room, which are all done inside the box, so to speak. So if any opportunity to, to, to get away from that, absolutely. But then there are some bits where it's like kind of straight up house in a way, do you know what I mean? So you can't really deviate from that. And if it's just house, then this is where we're, this is what we're doing, do you know what I mean? So it's just where and when. But yeah, every time it, it, it is, would like to be, you know, slightly different, slightly different, you know. Or the first one was Seconds Away. Um, that was uh, the first track of the second EP, Mountain Gazer. never recorded it before. Um, it always sounds slightly different as a live thing. The, um, the original is more kind of, I suppose, more of like kind of a fortet, hip hop -y kind of break. Um, so with this, it's kind of, yeah, I just kind of wanted to highlight um, what it is in a, in a live setting, so to speak. You, get, you kind of gain a different type of musical awareness when you're improvising. When you're playing a, st a set structure, it's great and it's still very moving and stuff. And you know, songs, everybody loves a good song and a, and a nice hook and a nice melody. But improvising is just, I don't know, it just does something else to your brain. Can't describe it. everyone in the band to have that moment in the set where they can really uh, shine, ex ex you know, do the thing. And as well as that, it's more entertaining, I think, from an outsider's point of view, if they, ha if they can clearly see it, the members are, are being animated and can actually, you know, Mozart did it called the cadenza. There's a cadenza bit in the piece where the, the player starts going mad and showing off. It, you know, I don't care if it's like Muse or anything, I just, I like, I like that entertainment aspect of it, you know even if it's like, you know, balls out, flashy. You know, live electronic music is all well and good, but I find, generally speaking, it's quite boring unless you've got some form of light show, something visually happening that's not that's not really based around solely on the, the electronic performer, so to speak. Or another sense, you know, if you go to see a DJ, there's, people are dancing, so people are up moving their bodies, so it's a weird kind of like in-betweeny bit when I'm playing solo electronically, because it's like, is this dance music or is this kind of like cerebral? So that's why with the live band it's always good, because you know it's like, this is what this is. 